We first brought you this story on Tuesday. The avian flu virus has hit a chicken farm just southeast of Hawley, Minnesota. Today, the Minnesota Board of Animal Health is depopulating the nearly 300,000 chickens. Valley News Team's Christina Craig has the latest. It's all telephone conversations. I haven't seen them face to face, even though they only lives a mile away. And it's the reason why we couldn't speak face to face with Benedict Bear's uncle either. Just down Bear's driveway sits his uncle's farm. That's been under quarantine for the avian flu. If you've got mud in your tires and it tracks out in a county road, somebody else driving through it might uh, tr transfer it to another farm. And we've got to wash all, all tires and fender wells and everything off before we leave the property and, um, and um, disinfect. Very real. It, uh... It can be carried on dust particles or any kind of organic matter through the wind. With about 350,000 chickens, Bear's not taking any chances. We've got all clean clothes, clean shoes, everything for inside the buildings. We're not bringing anything, anything or anybody from outside in. On top of that, he's been testing the chickens every day to make sure all efforts to prevent the virus from spreading and dealing with the situation like his uncle's. We're going to take the birds out of the cages, transfer them into the lower level of the barn, which is normally the manure pit, and then we're going to fence them in and we're going to use the fireman's phone to cover them. Which will kill the chickens and the virus over the next five days. Yeah, it, uh, it's difficult and uh, we're just hoping that it doesn't happen to the rest of us too. Near Holly, Christina Craig, Valley News Live. Flu and all threats, they told us they are not sure if they will reopen.